B O B Bob Bob is a rapper Rappers sing Well, maybe some people disagree with that Let's say rappers make music What else do rappers do? Drugs maybe? It seems like he's on some sort of drugs What else do rappers do? Some of them send tweets. Bob has been sending a lot of tweets lately. It's strange because the tweets are not about music, but it's about science. He's been showing a lot of pictures from high altitude that show a flat horizon. He even posts NASA images that show no curve. I think it's nice a rapper can do science and can actually show some proof and some facts for the things that he claims. But it's just a rapper, right? It's not a scientist, so... How can a rapper know anything about science? It should be so easy to debunk him. That's why immediately after the tweets got viral, this guy showed up. The most famous astrophysicist ever. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil is a scientist. He tries to understand how the universe works. Wikipedia tells me that science is a systematic enterprise that creates, builds and organizes knowledge in the form of testable explanations and predictions about the universe. So you would think that our friend Neil has some testable explanations to debunk this crazy rapper? Yeah, he tweeted this. That's right Bob. When you stand on the shoulders of those who came before, you might just see far enough to realize the earth isn't fucking flat. Oh wait, that's not a testable explanation. So some people were not that happy about it. But don't worry, he made up for it. Yesterday, Neil deGrasse Tyson appeared in a comedy show. Basically, first he explained that Bob is too small to see the curve. I think he didn't notice that it was NASA taking the picture. But what happened next amazed me. He came up with some real testable explanations, some real proof for gravity. Believe it or not, gravity. I have been looking for this for months, for years. And it's so fucking simple. You will not believe me. Basically what he did is, he took his microphone and dropped it on the floor. And the fact that it falls down? There's your proof, people. We can all do this experiment. You don't even have to use a microphone. You can use any object or, well, almost any object. It's definite proof. I feel sorry that I have been promoting the flat earth. I was wrong. I want to thank Neil deGrasse Tyson for his help. And I hope everyone can understand now that we live on a globe. Gravity proves it right. Thank you for watching. See you next time.